Good morning, YouTube viewers. It is good to see you this morning. All right, so today I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna share with you a couple of things. One of them being my favorite all around torch tip size, because I believe that's a pretty important thing to know as somebody that's wanting to get into welding, better your skills in welding, etc. And I'm also gonna be cutting some plate with my torch and showing you uh, somewhere between uh, five and seven tips to help you better your torch cutting skills. So I just clipped my old striker on, mosey on over here, turn on my oxygen bottle, oxygen bottle, get my torch hose strung out here. And I gotta find some plate, get my torch ready. That's one of my tips is a rubber hose to go over your torch to make it just a little bit thicker. It makes it a little more, a little more comfortable. Not sure what size that is, but uh, it's got about an inch OD roughly. So whatever that is. So that's, that's my tip number one, rubber hose. I've already got my acetylene on, I think. I better check, make sure. By the way, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. We hope you find the videos helpful. If you don't know about our online trade school, arosswelding.school, we've got a couple of courses over there, online courses, pipe fence course and a quick rig course and we're continually going to add to that trade school. We also have an online store where we sell soapstone, the blue book you may see in some of the videos, the circle burner, and a few other things. I just wanted to let you know about it in case you were new to the channel. All right, so now I'm gonna find some plate. Cool deal, man. Got a piece of quarter inch plate and a piece of looks like half inch plate here. Hey, you know what? I just built this table. Let's use it. That'd be smart. That'd be intelligente, wouldn't it? Just threw this thing together the other day. I intended on making a uh, cart for welding beds. Yes, you heard me, I said welding beds, because I hope to build a bed soonish. Don't get too excited, because I don't know when I'm gonna start yet. But all that to say is this table was supposed to be to set a welding bed on so I can move the welding bed around. That way, whenever I need another project in here, I can move the welding bed out. Well, you know, it'll be on wheels. That was the whole idea, but then I decided to turn it into a table, an outside table. All right, so like I said, I got a piece of half inch plate here, quarter inch plate, two quarters equals a half. Little bonus tip here before we get into the cutting tips. Sometimes these quick connects, I usually use Koiki brand quick connects, but sometimes over the months, years of using them, sometimes they don't connect well. I usually just put a little spit right in there, connects right up. All right, so tip number two, number one was the rubber hose for better comfort. A buddy of mine named Jesse, if you're watching, he's the one that gave me this tip. He's my brother's age, older than my brother, pipeline welder, real good guy, taught me that, so give credit where credit's due. He showed me that and that's, uh, that's super handy. Tip number two is the proper pressures for quarter inch and half inch. Go with seven on the acetylene, 27 on the oxygen. Those are just some easy numbers to remember, seven and 27. If you're looking for more detailed information about the basics of the torch and how to set your pressures, we'll link a video in the description of this video, or we'll link it up in one of these corners where you can find a video that we've made about the basics of torch cutting. Tip number three is one of my most important tips that I give anyone, which is a clean tip. That is, that's gonna save half your trouble all the way around is a clean tip. That sound you hear, that's how you know you got a clean tip. Oh my goodness, even better. And tip number four is my favorite all around tip is a double aught. Double aught just means two zeros, which is the first two numbers in your torch tip size. Again, if you need more information on how to find your tip size, it'll be in that video linked in the description below. Tip number five is another really, really important tip, which is preheat. Preheat especially see that moisture coming out especially with like something with this half inch quarter inch preheat still important but like that right there is plenty of preheat this half inch especially if you're needing to pierce through it right here instead of start on the edge it doesn't even hurt to throw a little preheat underneath like so so like i said preheat tip number six is heating it up to where it gets orange, but then like heat it up pretty good right here where it gets orange, but then 
start pushing the cutting lever before you get into your metal like so. See it's real. See how I started it before? And tip number six is, I think I'm on number six, I don't know, is the proper travel speed. Which just means how fast I'm moving along the plate. And ideally, that right there means you got a pretty clean cut. Sometimes it'll be like less slag than that. But the reason I know that this is a decent cut is because, well, besides my experience, but is because I can take my pliers and knock off the slag. Didn't even need a grinder. I could start welding on that, no problem. Now on this half inch, which is gonna be my last tip, I think, number seven. I don't know how many tips I've given, but I'm gonna pierce through it. But I wanted to use it, I wanted to use this example on thicker material just so uh, we can get some real good learning out of it. So like I said, preheat is key. And, well, yeah, we're just gonna preheat a minute. Underneath also. And today's a cool day, by the way. If you notice, I'm wearing a vest. It was like 30 degrees this morning when we woke up. Oh, it's awesome, I love. It's just so motivating whenever the weather is cool. Slip into some fresh starch. Oh my gosh, just makes for a fantastic morning. Oh, and we can't forget the old coffee. Come on. All right, so now we're almost ready to pierce through. I say almost, but I wanted to point out, see how this is kind of like quiet over this plate? Which ain't a bad thing, but it's gonna take a minute to heat up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my acetylene, my fuel down here, I'm gonna turn it up a little bit, turn my oxygen up a little bit. See how it gets a little more noisier? You can hear that's a little more noisier. Still sounds clean. And all that's doing is gonna allow me to preheat faster. See how it's getting orange faster? Oh yeah, nice and orange. So now the key when piercing, at least in my experience, is a lot of preheat, especially the thicker metal it is, the more preheat you want. A bigger tip isn't a bad idea either. On this half inch, this double odd is all right, but on like, uh, I'll say like three quarters or one inch, it's not gonna be a bad idea to jump up to one odd or number one tip, but you can do a lot with, with just one tip. So this is plenty of preheat, more than I'd probably normally do, but, but it's not bad. It's not bad to do this at all because it's gonna be cleaner this way. So right before you want to pierce through once you push the cutting lever push it real slow and then pick your torch up to keep your torch from getting dirty that's kind of extravagant didn't need to preheat that much but i hope you get the idea Yeah, that's a little extravagant, but you don't need quite, you can tell where the heat, where it got heated up around here and it's real mushy right, right in here. This would all be fine, there's nothing wrong with it, but you technically don't need to do that much. But I just wanted to point out how when you start to pierce, pick your torch up, just that way your torch doesn't get all, it doesn't pop and it doesn't get dirty, is the, is the whole idea on, on your piercing method. And if you turn this around, again, you can see I didn't even use pliers. Look at there, boys and girls. So that's what you want. Preheat is gonna help you do this. And keeping your tip out of the molten metal, that way it stays clean. But anyhow, there you have it. Few tips to sharpen your torch cutting skills. I hope the tips are helpful. Most importantly, just 
have fun learning and doing the best you can on every cut. I know for me, whenever I learned these tips and the more that I practiced them over the years, the more enjoyable my trade has been becoming. I'm saying that as in, it, you know, it, it, it happened, but it's also still happening. And I love sharing to help you enjoy your trade more, um, to make you more efficient. That way you can better yourself and your family. Lastly, a tip or advice or a something that i want to that i want to share that that helps with uh mindset is gratitude and uh i'm gonna coin these brass dice the gratitude dice they're not named that in the aros welding store but we have them in the aros welding store i think they're really cool because a lot of the stuff i use has brass this clip I don't have those in the store yet but like the soapstone is brass the circle burner has brass on it and so we got these brass dice so we just think they're really cool but I'm gonna coin them the gratitude dice. And I may or may not carry these around in my pocket all the time because I can't really stand stuff in my pocket. Um, but I keep them on my desk where I edit these YouTube videos. And every time I look at them, I'm gonna think about something that I'm grateful for. And I'm gonna encourage you to do the same thing if you decide to get some of these brass dice. If you don't mind things in your pockets, throw them in your pocket. And every time you reach in your pocket and fill your dice, just think about something that you're thankful for. I know for me personally, staying focused on the stuff that I'm grateful for, that I that I do have versus what I don't have, helps me stay in a more positive, positive mindset. So I just wanted to share the tip about gratitude and how important it is and how big a deal it can it can make for you if you decide to to focus on being grateful for the things you do have in your life. I remember in previous videos I talked about the line between gratitude and striving for more and what i've learned since then is whenever you're grateful for what you have it keeps you in that happier mindset in that more motivating mindset therefore you're more motivated to push forward and take on life's opportunities because life is full of opportunity i believe life is meant to be abundant you just got to have faith but you also got to be educated a lot of people, including myself, get down about something that we've done or that we've tried to do and it quote unquote failed. Most likely that was due to lack of education. So between faith and education, opportunities are more within reach than they ever have been, which is why we're creating the online trade school. We've got a couple courses over there already, the pipe fence course and the quick rig course. If you're looking to throw a quick welding rig together in a hurry, you can find it over there at arosswelding.school. If there's anything you wanna learn more in detail about, you can scroll to the bottom of the school page and you should be able to leave a suggestion on the course you would like to see in the Aros Welding Trade School. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you have an awesome weekend. Enjoy this cool weather and remember, learn something every day.